Oh my goodness. Do I have a haul video for you guys. I found a new honey hole and I cannot wait to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited. Guys, I accidentally found the most epic thrift store in the history of thrift stores. I wasn't even like out shopping. I actually was going to meet up with a friend and I drove past it on the way to meet her, but I didn't have time to stop because I, we had a set time that we were getting together. But on the way back, I stopped and I'm so glad that I did. I, it was amazing and I will definitely be going back. But before we get into the haul video, I did want to give you guys a little preview. I am going to be doing another drop sale. So um, I'm not sure I'm going to tell you guys what day I'm going to post it because I kind of think it would be fun for it to be a surprise. So you guys just keep um, checking in on my channel and hit the notification button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would love for you guys to subscribe. But um, so yeah, click the notification bell and then you'll be notified when my drop sale drops and you can buy some of these goodies. Now I'm not gonna show you guys everything that's going to be in the drop sale, but I am gonna show you guys like a little preview. So here is some of the stuff that is going to be in my drop sale. Now these bags in front are all full of miniatures and dollhouse miniatures and they are each individually bagged. And then I also have some ephemera packets all set up. Just to give you guys a quick little peek a -doo. Not gonna give you too much information, but let me show you my favorite one. Look at this one with the vintage Halloween picks and cake and cupcake toppers. So this one is gonna be fun. They're all gonna be fun, but I'm so excited for that. Here's this little Halloween themed one. Not gonna give you guys much, that's it, that's all you get. But, so this plus some more is gonna be in my job sale. So y'all keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> now, so I think that I've decided that I'm not quite ready to share my new honey hole with you guys. Don't be mad, I know. I'm not trying to be selfish. It's just, um, I kinda wanna keep it to myself for just a little bit. Uh, Cause I know I do have some local people who watch my channel and it's not that <clears throat> I don't want y'all to go there. It's just, I don't want y'all to go there and get all the good stuff. No, I don't know. I'm just not quite ready yet. So, but I do, I'm so excited. Okay. I don't even know where to start. There's so much. I have a whole tote over here to share with you guys. Now I probably won't go over what I spent on each piece. I might, because I think everything I have still has the price stickers on them, but I will tell you, I spent a hundred and like $50. But the day that I went in there, everything in the store that was under $50 was half off. So I picked like the most perfect day to go in there for the first time. It was amazing. So I am gonna get started. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I grabbed was this big daddy. Now you guys know I love jewelry jars. They are so fun to go through. And then once you go through them, they're so fun for crafting and jewelry making. And when I, um, so I sell on eBay, which all of you know by now, when I ship a package, I usually try to include some pieces of ephemera. And then I also usually try to include, um, a free piece of jewelry just to kind of make it, you know, fun. So that's what I do with these jewelry jars, but this one is so full and it's big. This is a big jar. And this one was 
$14.99, so half of that. That's pretty good. So I was excited about that. Then I did get this one. This one was $9.99, so it was $5. And it's really full too. This is like your standard size mason jar. So I was excited about that one. Sorry guys, gotta fix this. Okay, is that better? Okay. Then I grabbed this guy. He is this plastic blow mold type tiki man. He was $6.99 and half of that. So $3.50 on this guy. Now I did look him up and he was actually, he's not old. Um, he is made for like tiki parties and luau's and he, what you do is you put a bubble machine in here and his bottom's open so you would just set it on top of the bubble machine on top of a table and bubbles would come out of his mouth. That is so cute. But when I saw him, what I originally thought was how cute would this be in a vintage themed kitchen? with um to hold your grocery bags like you stuff your grocery bags in through the bottom and then when you need one you pull it out through his mouth and you could just keep it under your kitchen sink and then when you open your kitchen sink it's like this little tiggy man with your grocery bags in it wouldn't that be cute so that's what i originally thought of this guy but so we have him not sure what i'm gonna do with him he'll probably be a booth item but they do go for like Originally, they sold at Sears, I think, for like $74.99, which is really a lot for this, but super fun. Liked him. Then, I got this. Now, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I probably won't. I'll probably sell it, but this was so nice. Like, I could just tell the quality right away, but it is this all-leather tote bag or briefcase bag or weekend bag whatever bag whatever you want to use it for that's what it is Whoop. oh got it good job but it is so the leather is so supple and it's pebbled leather and the inside is very clean it doesn't have any smoky odor very clean, very nice. Um, the brand, I did look up, uh, let's see if I can find it. Jerome Simone. Now I probably butchered that, but I think that is what it is. Jerome Simone. So there's that. Very fun. Very nice leather bag. And it's got the crossbody strap with the shoulder pad. Beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. Next thing I got was this. It is a carved, um, probably steer horn. It's got an eagle carved on it. Now, I don't necessarily condone these types of things, um, but the way I look at it, like I have a lot of taxidermied pieces in my home and in my personal collection but the ironic thing is that I have never killed a single thing in my life other than like maybe fleas and a fly here and there um I don't necessarily like I said condone killing animals I'm not a vegetarian so I guess I do condone it in some way shape or form but what I mean is all of the pieces that I have, my taxidermy and items like this are vintage. Um, I found them in thrift stores, pawn shops, antique stores. Now I'm not saying that, um, that that's okay. I'm just saying that I feel like me purchasing them didn't change their fate, if that makes sense. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily buy something like this new in the store if that were an option because then that's condoning that type of behavior because then the people that are providing this for sale will see that these types of items are selling and they will go out and do those types of behaviors still. I hope that makes sense and I hope I explain that properly. Um, 
But so that's my thought process behind items like this is that I can't change what happened, but I can rescue these pieces, um, specifically like my taxidermy. That's why I collect them is because I feel like I don't want them to have died for no reason. So I kind of like adopt them. I rescue them um, because it's just like I don't want it to be for naught and then to end up in a dumpster somewhere. So that's why I kind of gravitate towards these types of things. But it is pretty well done. Um, I love the coloring of the horn. So this would be, um, if you're into this type of thing, it would be really cool to just kind of set up and use it to hold your pens. I know it's, again, not everybody's cup of tea, but that's the cool thing about this community is that everybody has different styles and aesthetics. And, um, you know, it just is what it is. And this just happens to be something that I, will, I don't like, but I appreciate, if that makes sense. So... Now, it's a little bit of a controvert, controvert, why can I not say that word? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Item, but here it is nonetheless. I don't want to hide it from you guys, so here's that. That was a long spiel. So sorry about that. Next item I got was this Department 56 Village Accessory Trees. They are so cute. They are new in the box. And these are going to go into items and then into my booth. So like in my last video, I showed you guys those Santa head mugs, those vintage Santa head mugs. So, you know, these are so cute. So just put one of these in that mug and sell them together. It just really adds to the cuteness of those types of things. So I liked that a lot. And I did get, they are all three in their box. So that was a fun little find. I'm gonna move this because I've already almost knocked it over once. Sorry, excuse me. All right, then I got the set of three of these. I think these are so great. These mid-century modern bird wall hangings in, in um, decreasing sizes. I'm not going to be able to show you guys how beautiful these are, but look at those. Like on the corner of your wall, just kind of cascading. They are so beautiful. I love their natural patina. I'm not going to polish them. I don't usually ever polish my brass. I like to leave them just the way I find them because you can never get that patina back. And it's so beautiful. So I really liked those. And these will be pretty easy to ship because they just stack so cutely in to each other like that. Then I grab this. I love these colors. These are my favorite colors. This muted brown and baby blue. And it is this little teeny tiny sewing kit. I bet it's pretty old. Oh, look what's in here. I didn't even see these. Okay, I'm obsessed. These are so cute. What's in it? needles oh my goodness okay so look at these little needle books so darling i love those those were just like tucked away in this yiddle pocket oops i dropped a button they were just tucked in there so cute i really like this so this was a dollar 99 half off so it was a dollar really happy about that i just think this would be cute in a display like just resting somewhere all tied up like that. So cute. I actually just set it right here. This is my hoarder shelf. These are all the things I come across that I hoard and they end up on this little shelf. But like, look at this, that's on my little shelf. I found that. It's a miniature garage sale sign and I needed to keep it because uh, I have a problem. But it's so cute. <laughs> so there's that. All right. Sorry, I'll try to speed up because there's a lot here. Then I found this creepy baby. My goodness. Ma'am, you are something else. Mama. Mama. Now, I have come across rubbered face dolls a lot in my shopping extravaganza, but I have never found a sleepy-eyed one. 
Like, her head is three dimension. Like, like that's a thick head. Like, look, <laughs> that's a little peculiar looking. I'm not going to lie. Um, normally, they're pretty flush with the doll and much, like, cuter than this one. But I had to get it. Uh, it's from Mem Memorial. What does this say? Memorial. Not really sure. But it's musical. It's a little, a little haunt your dreams type, but kind of fun. So I picked her up. We gotta wait for her to stop signaling. And then I did get this for myself. It was a brand new full bottle of Jimmy Choo perfume. And I actually do like this smell. Um, and I buy this for myself. I would buy this for myself anyways. But um, it was, what, $7 and then half of that? So that's a good deal. And this is, it's full. Why did I smell my wrist? I didn't spray it on my wrist. Yes, I like this. So grab that for myself. Only one tally mark so, so far. Then... I grabbed this piece, um, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is a vintage acrylic gear shift handle, like in a car, like yeah, 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 I don't, yeah, don't make fun of me, I don't, I don't know how to drive a stick shift, so, but I thought that was really unique, so I grabbed that, then this was so cute it's made in switzerland it was eight dollars so four dollars and it is this little vintage music box and i love those graphics and it's just a small little um it's plastic it's a small little music box and you wind it up and then But yeah, I grabbed that, so cute. I don't know anything about it, but it called to me. So usually if something calls to me, I grab it. And that's why I have so much stuff. Cause everything calls to me. Then these are my, one of my very favorite things I got from that store. I got this little pixie man, elf on a shelf. And he is marked on the back Noel Japan. He has his original sticker. And he is felt. He does have some like, you know, he's old. So he's got some trim missing from around his hat. But I don't mind that at all. He's so, look at that little smile. So cute. And then I like this one too. This little elfy man. And he has his original Made in Japan sticker as well. These will probably end up on my hoarding shelf. So, I might keep these for now, but they probably will be for sale closer to Christmas. But for now, I can look at them while I work on my little hoarding show. Next up, we've got this little lady. She is a, let's see, made in Japan little bisque doll and she will end up in my baby hoard and yeah I love these little things let me show you guys really quick this video is gonna be forever long I hope y'all didn't have plans today because this is what this is what we're doing so cancel your plans you're watching this and hanging out with me so here's just part of my little baby collection uh, I I have a problem. This is actually a recent problem. So it didn't take me long to get to this point, but they are so cute to me. And I just love them all bunched up like this. It's like they're having a little baby party. Um, so she's gonna go, she just got invited to the baby party. There you go. Baby party, so cute. So they are all going to live there together happily ever after. Cuties. Okay. Moving on. 
This is another one of my favorite things. Now I have bought several of these in my purchase history, some to keep, some to sell, but I have never seen one of an African-American woman. And I just think this is so stunning. I might have to keep it. Um, let me just show you guys. It is this antique button. So they're called buttons, but there's just this like celluloid um, picture frame and it would have had a um, like an easel, what would you call a stand that would have been attached right there. It's usually metal, but it's missing that. I don't mind at all. And then their picture was like inset, like printed onto this button. But look at how absolutely beautiful this woman is. She's so pretty. So I love this piece. Um, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but to be quite honest, it was a steal. I feel like this is worth so much more than what I paid for it just because of how beautiful that woman is. And her eyes, she just seems like she's just got something to say. So this piece is amazing. I might have to hold on to that for a while. And it's my, my favorite color, so I like that one a lot. Then I did get this lady. I don't know much about her and I don't know what her, um, markings right there mean but she is this brass statue on a marble base beautiful piece extremely well made she is probably going to go in my antique one of my antique booths because she just fits my style of my antique booth so perfectly so she's really pretty and then i did also I should have been keeping track of my tally marks of things I was keeping, but I haven't been, but that's okay. Uh, I did get this little soap dish. It is ironstone, real English ironstone. And I do collect these white, creamy, um, antique pieces of ceramic. So this is going to go in my personal collection. I do have to clean it up, but I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Probably more of my rings but so pretty. I liked that a lot. I like this a lot too, and I'm probably gonna keep this too. I really need to just, um, I don't even know. How do I stop? Is that even an option? Doubtful. But look at this. This, now this isn't a mirror, but this appears to me, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong, which I probably am, but does it look, this look like it would be the top of an old tin, right? Like that's what you would think. And that's what I thought when I first saw it, um, that it was just missing its bottom tin part. But on the back, it's got this stand. Now this is like what I was talking about that she is missing on her backside, but it has this stand. So, perplexed by that um I don't know if it would have been like multi-purpose like they would have sold the tin with that on the lid so that once you used whatever came in the tin you could use this as a frame or something along those lines but I love this look at that so pretty love those colors so what I'll probably do is go through my Victorian ephemera and pick out one of my favorite pieces and attach it. I won't glue it because I don't want to make it permanent. I'm sorry this bed thing is so squeaky. Um, I don't want to keep it permanent because I don't want to ruin the ephemera, but I probably just put um, some double-sided tape right there, but so pretty. I love that. I'm keeping this. Then I got this little tiny souvenir of Gettysburg pillow really beautiful I think this would look so cute as a bracelet display like if you had a bracelet that you really liked you could just you know put it around that and then have it displayed like that and the cool thing about this too is that it comes with this original tag and they sent it in the mail just like this so do you see that how darling is this? So this is probably going to be 
for my personal collection too. But how could you not keep that? That is so sweet. Okay, sorry guys, unwrapping. I didn't unwrap this stuff. Oh, the, this is beautiful. So I grabbed her. She says she is made in Guatemala, but it is this stunning um, pottery angel candlestick holder. And look at that firing color. It's so beautiful. It almost kind of reminds me of Raku, but a lot, lot lighter. And then here's the inside. These are obviously handmade. Very well done. I love that color. This is my color. Again, y'all know I love this color, but look at her. And she was $6.99. So, and then half of that. So $3.50 for her. So beautiful. And that's not even the best part. Let me show y'all the best part. There's two of them. They're sisters and they're both different but they complement each other so beautifully. Look at these. They, are these not amazing? So, keep, but how could you not? How could you not keep these? So beautiful. Set these down gently, gently ladies, gently. I really, really like those and they're so unique. I haven't, ever seen anything like this. All right, this is beautiful. Now, for those of you that like glass, this was my favorite glass piece that I found. Look at this swung vase with those swirls. Now, I actually do, um, not an expert, but just the quality of this piece makes me really, really believe that it is Murano. It has the shiniest bottom, not that that is a tell, telltale sign, but just feeling it and its quality and this like submerso type detailing at the bottom. This is so beautiful. I've never seen um, a swung vase with a pattern in it. So this is so pretty. It's not very big, but it is so pretty. I really, really like this. So I had to grab that. I also grabbed another vase. This one is clear glass, which just makes it more migratable into any display or collection. But this is so pretty. Look at that. I don't think you would you you wouldn't classify that as swung. What would you classify that as? Stretched, maybe. And then it's got these stretch sides right here. Here's the bottom. A very beautiful piece as well. So I did grab that as well. Um I think I might um now I don't have any necessarily I don't know when I'm gonna do a live sale, but when I do, I think I wanna save this because I just think this is so special. So I think I might put this aside for if I ever do a live sale. And this one may be available on my eBay. So that's what I'm thinking on those. Then I grabbed this vintage, um, let's see, artificial, uh, Glazed melon, cherries, grapefruit peel, flower, sugar, pecans, ra pecans, raisins, shortening, whole eggs, pineapple. Okay, we got to stop because it goes all the way around. Um, I don't know if this was for candy or for fruitcake, but so pretty. To use this as a riser for your vintage Christmas items. Like, look how cute. If you had something for him to stand up against. And then I have my... You know, Santa. Wouldn't that be so cute? Love that. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys this. Completely not related to the haul video. But I picked this up, or I got this in my dollhouse miniature lots that I picked up at that estate sale. Look at this. 
Is that not the cutest little Christmas display you've ever seen? It is so tiny. Look at it. It's so cute. That's how I ended up on my hoarder shelf because it's so cute. Back on the hoarder shelf you go. Next up, I got this Little Miss Georgia. Now, I'm going to rip off her head and give her a cuter head. No offense, ma'am. Don't get mad at me. But her body was just so cute and I just felt like we can do better. So, and then I can take off her bonnet and put that on a cuter head. Now I'll repurpose this head too, but we're just gonna do a little bit of a body swap. But I grabbed her. Then I grabbed this. These always sell good in my antique booth. Um, I paid $1.50 for it. I can get at least six or seven dollars for it. They are really fun in old primitive kitchen decor. So I did grab that from one of my antique booths. Oh, this piece is cool. I forgot about him. How can I forget about you, sir? But I did. Look at this picture. It is so creepy. But he is so cool. He's really giving the side eye. He's like looking at me. I'm kind of freaked out, but I couldn't leave him behind. He was a little pricey. He was $30, but then half off, so 15 He's like, but look at his teeth. He's got teeth. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, fail, Ariana. Look at that. How did I not see that? This whole piece has been broken out and then glued back. Bummer, but... That's okay, because I can probably keep him and put some type of flowers in his head because he's too cool. Like, when are you going to see this again? I've never seen one. Have y'all ever seen one? And he is marked. Uh, he's got a lot of numbers and then some words that I can't read. But I love that crazing. So, I got this creepy guy. He's pretty cool. Like him. Then, I didn't buy this in my original purchase checkout moment, but I saw these as I was leaving and I had to get them. It is a stack of uh, antique and vintage ephemera. I'm just going to go through it kind of quickly, but there's this. Oh, and there's some old sheet music. Here's this. Some more old sheet music. More old sheet music. There's that. Oh, I like the colors on this one. This would be good for Halloween. Pretty. I'm yours. Oh, look at this Victorian advertisement. Or no, it's, is this? Yeah, Victorian advertisement. That's beautiful. There's this one. And this one. That. Oh, he is so handsome. Oh, ma'am. Scandalous. That does seem extremely scandalous for this time period. And look at this. Holy macaroni, that is beautiful. So there's a lot more, um, just for time's sake. Oh no. I do have to show you guys a couple more things. Look at this sheet music. Now I'm gonna frame this and keep it and put it in my Christmas collection. Look at that. That is stunning. And again, those that's my color. Almost everything in my house is this color. <laughs> or, or lack thereof color. But that is so beautiful. I that's my one of my new favorite things. And then look at this. Oh, 
So I did grab that whole stack and I'm so glad I did because those are amazing. I think we're getting towards the bottom, guys. I don't know what this is. Oh, this was cute. And it was 50 cents, so I had to grab this. It is this ceramic egg, cracked egg, with this little sheepy inside. And it says, he is risen. I'll probably craft with this a little bit and do some changes to it and just make it a little bit more something. It just is missing something, but I had to grab that. Really, really cute. I'm a sucker for like diorama type things. Then, oh goodness. This was a really fun piece. Now, I don't know anything about these, but I loved this velvet box. Like, I love that velvet box. And then you open it, and it's these brass and shell candlesticks. They are stunning. They're in immaculate condition. Very Art Nouveau. So beautiful. And they, they were made for this box. Like they fit so perfectly. They haven't ever came out of this box, I don't think. And the patina, that just rich, yummy brass color. So beautiful. The, the, the shells are in great condition. So these are stunning. These will be available on my eBay. I did pay up for these as well. They were $35, but how could you not? Like, so beautiful, so beautiful. Love these. Oh, this is cool. Um, I looked this up briefly because I hadn't seen this color. This is Fire King. At first I thought, that you would consider this like a Delphite blue, but there's a name for um, for this color. Um, it's called Azurite. Azurite Blue Fire King Sugar Bowl with the swirl. So beautiful. I really like that. I think that was a great find. It wasn't a case and I did pay up for this as well. It was $10, but I hadn't seen that color before and it's just it, and it's see-through. It's like translucent, but also very rich at the same time. And it was in very good condition. So I did pick that up. Love those lines. It's just a beautiful piece. So I grabbed that. And this is the last piece. And I think I picked like the weirdest piece to end on, but nonetheless, I got this trailer. It is a vintage metal uh, truck trailer bed. It was $4.99, half of that. But I just thought, how cute would this be? You know, um, if you have like the red trucks for Christmas time with the Christmas tree, the bottle brush Christmas, Christmas, <laughs> the bottle brush Christmas trees in the back, you could attach this and add like one longer Christmas tree and like fake wrap it in twine like you just cut it. That would be so cute. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this for my antique booth. I'm just going to get a bottle bush tree, fake wrap it in twine and stick it in there and sell that in my antique booth. That was so cute. Very fun. And guys, we have done it. That was everything. How amazing was that store. I will definitely be going back. I think I even like that store more than the last honey hole I found because their prices were a little better and they were so friendly. Um, shout out to you. I'm not telling you guys who it is just yet, but if you know, you know. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining me watching my haul video and please do keep an eye out for my drop sale. I would really love for it to be a success because I had so much fun putting together those miniature grab bags and I'd like to make more. 
because I do have a little bit more of the miniatures and then my friend Rachel is also making me some more ephemera packets for the drop sale so you're not going to want to miss it so just keep checking in hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time at the Withering Cottage bye guys